Hello everybody, I'm going to be teaching you how to take a, re a file, a uh, reading uh, mp3 file, and split it into sections that you can upload into Anki very quickly. So, a good example, I, in my Genki textbook there's always a audio file of a native speaker reading the vocabulary. And I really like having those attached to my cards. It helps with not only my pronunciation, but my intonation as well. Um, so and with my method you can actually create um, and attach it relatively quickly so first let's open okay the, the programs you're going to need are obviously the CS um, uh, the spreadsheet program um, that you're using LibreOffice or Excel uh, you'll need Anki and you'll also need Audacity which is a free program that you can download for it, all three major platforms so I'm gonna right click on the audio I want to parse this is the whole reading files, a couple minutes long. Okay, and it uploaded. Now all this, um, you can see the whole file here. So all these, um, obviously all these spikes is when the reader is actually reading. So first we've got to separate, we've got to automatically separate this into separate tags. Um, and we use the analyze function to do that. So you go to analyze, sound finder. Um, and these are all the settings. Uh, usually I only just change the minimum duration to 0.5. I know that that just works for me because there's at least usually there's 0.5 between uh, seconds between new words and 0.1 was to um, not segmenting words uh, in the way I wanted and um, all these other settings work for me. Uh, you can always go back and reanalyze um, some uh, reuse the sound finder if you didn't like the output. Hit OK it takes just a couple seconds and it will oh my gosh like it'll do that so and then there's a whole bunch of tags that's fine but you what you have to go through you have to go and go through and figure out which tags you want to keep and which ones you don't so this is um, this is a pretty cool thing so to zoom in you just hit um, control and then the scroll wheel uh, so I zoom into a comfortable um, where I can see uh, the individual sound waves and I'm gonna go through and start deleting the ones I don't want so I go to start hit play and just delete the ones you want you use tab to go through and backspace the ones you don't want and rename the ones you do I don't want that one do you want this one don't want that nope no three four that's good enough. You just keep going through it. Um, as I said, if you want to jump through, you just hit go into one of them and use tab, um, backspace uh, uh, as much as you need to delete it, and you keep tabbing, or just rename. It's important to make sure that they're being named in numerical order. And if for some reason um, this automatic parser, it, if it was automatically parsed incorrectly, like say, um, this should have been a whole word or a whole tag. Maybe it was a phrase or something. You can go and use um, the editing tools here. So the arrow part will allow you to stretch it and the circle will allow you to move it. And if you want to make sure that you captured the right data, you click this and you can hit play and it will only play that part. So I would just listen along and delete and re rename as needed. Um, if you really need to, you can um, create a new. T uh, there's a shortcut for creating a new tag, uh, which I'll put in the description. So, anyways, uh, let's open um, a completed, uh, a complete file. So this is where I've already gone through, um, got just only kept the ones I wanted and rename rename the ones I wanted and they number up to 49 which is as many vocab words as I have excellent now we gotta export it we're going to go to file export selection um, oops that's not what I wanted Fi I meant file export multiple okay file name prefix you need to make use a prefix and you want to use something that you'll remember um, or that's useful I use chapter CH15 to represent that chapter. Um, all and make sure you're, you're exporting it in MP3 and choose the right place. So I want it to be exported here. That's fine. Export and 
just hit OK or enter uh, until every, everything is uploaded. Or everything is exported. This is just so you editing metadata, which you don't need when you're doing something as simple as this. So it takes a little bit. It's only crawling. And it might not like me because I'm overwriting, but nope, it did. It worked well. So, anyways. Um, also, it really doesn't matter where you save this. We can we're going to we're going to move these files later, anyways, to the right place. So, now, now let's go back. This is the CSV file um, I created that has all the uh, vocabulary I want to upload. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, um, I have a video link in the description on how to create this, um, and and so you can learn how to upload it as well. Um, so I recommend you go through that first, but I've completed it and the only thing I have left is the sound field. So we're going to um, automatically fill out the sound field in the format that we need. So first I would go to wherever you saved your um, audio, uh, the audio for your cards, which I saved here, and look at the format. So because this is what we're going to be automatically generating is this name. So in the sound field, you're uh, First of all, we'll need to automatically number. So we need to number them in the order that you, um, in the order that they're read. Uh, thankfully, this is already pre-sorted into that reading order, so I can just do one through 49. And I know they'll map automatically. So now we need the, um, now I need to write this function properly. So we're gonna use equals, start the function, um, use the quotation mark, and uh, a bracket. I believe those are brackets. Uh, and um, I apologize if that's not the right word. And then write sound colon. That's the beginning of the tag for um, Anki to read. So, and now we're going to start use the beginning part of your um, the name of your file. So that's ch15 dash ch15 dash. We want everything up to the number. So ch 15 dash and quotation. Now we're going to use an ampersand sign um, and this is where we're going to input the number automatically. So what you need to, you got to look at the format. You see here how uh, it's important to look at the first one. So CH15 dash 01. So there's an extra zero in front. Uh, so that means we're going to have to format the text, uh, format the uh, number to always have a, uh, to always format to two two numbers, so put a zero in front. So you use the text function, uh, put a parentheses, use the column where you're going to, or the cell where you're going to be taking the number from, which is I, uh, comma, and then in quotation marks, put two zeros. So for example, if this had three zero, uh, had once zero zero one, then you'd put three zeros um, in, in that function. And now we're going to complete the, um, the tag, right uh, in quotation marks dot mp3 and then end the bracket. So now it's automatically generating the right name um, for this file. Uh, sorry, for this file it's going to reference. So, and you can just copy down. Just make sure it looks okay. It's going down to 49. Perfect. Um, I would recommend you highlight everything, copy and then paste values um, you, or paste text, whatever and then delete this row. You don't need it. Okay, perfect. So now it's saved in the right format. I'm, I'm going to save it. Um, also remember to delete that. Uh, so now it's all saved and ready for me to upload into Anki. Ex um, so one more step before we actually go into the import process though is now we're going to have to copy everything we created, all these sound files, into a place where Anki can read them. So I go to document or mine is in, um, let's see, uh, I believe I go to home and then I go to Anki, which, you know, go into Anki folder, go into the collections.media folder, then right click and paste. I already have, I'm just going to replace all. Um, so now all, all of my files are in a place that Anki can read it. Now, ready to upload into Anki. So, very similar to that, um, to the other video, we're going to be using the import function. So, we go to File, Import, 
uh, use the CSV that I just saved and make sure everything's mapping correctly. Um, I'm going to use update existing notes when first seal matches because I've already uploaded them without audio. And we just want only want the audio tag to be uploaded and everything else looks okay. It's mapping to the right place. Hit import. Now it's it's just it just telling me all the ones they up, it updated. Um, looks excellent. So hit close. Uh, now you want to check and make sure it works. We're going to go to chapter 15 and let's pick uh, foreigner. Um, so you open it. You go to cards, and I don't know if you could hear hear that, but it automatically play gaikokujin, uh, which means uh, foreigner. In Japanese. Uh, so if you don't know how to add audio car audio fields, you just need to make sure you have an audio field uh, a, a, any field actually. I don't think it really matters how what it's named, but as long as it has this format and you have the uh, and you have the media to reference in your collection.media folder, it should automatically play on whatever side of the card you put it on. If you have any questions on how um, on other parts of this process, uh, Feel free to let me know in the comments, but I hope this helps you in your foreign language studies. Ooh.